Wow, literally nothing is getting through. Last time we made it pretty far, but we're gonna try to make it further this time. And that is all gonna start with one of these guys and one of these guys. In my in my little bit of playing, I've I've discovered that these guys generally make a pretty strong combo, especially straight off the bat. They can normally make it as far as I need them to, and then when I get enough money, I can purchase a firewall, and that basically just lets me defend almost anything until later on, of course. I'm gonna get a few upgrades on this guy though, because he is really strong with upgrades and can kind of take care of most of the blue balloons that the wizard struggles with, except for those two, I guess. At least we have a lot of space for them to go. And one of them escapes. Wow, that's it's kind of triggering, actually. One more upgrade, I guess. However, besides those two, we're also going to need a ton of these guys since they make absolute bank. So we're going to start in the corner and work our way up from there. We're going to cover this entire half of the map just in these fellers. And we're having no issues in the slightest at the start. These guys are handling everything quite well. I think I'm going to get some upgrades for the wizard monkey pretty soon, but we're going to save and just upgrade these things first. I normally get the first two upgrades and then just buy a new farm. I don't know why. It's just that those upgrades kind of make the most difference, <laughs> in my opinion at least, in my very limited experience. So when I have more money, I get the other ones, but for now, I don't care about them. Ooh, a couple of guys are making it through. So what we're gonna do is just chuck down a ninja monkey. It's also gonna take care of any camos that eventually come. It was kind of expensive, but I think it's worth it for now. And one last upgrade, tax sprayer. Hopefully that is gonna tide us over for a while. Banana farm number three, grabbing the two upgrades. We're actually getting a nice little banana banana thing going down here. And already enough for banana farm number four. Oh gosh, if we can't fit it in here, that's gonna be kind of annoying. And we actually can't, so we have to go upwards. Ooh, I was not planning ahead. We actually did not get any explosive things. So we're just gonna go ahead and get a decent bomb shooter going. Poor planning on my part, but we should be able to handle everything okay. Maybe. All right, we're gonna leak a few lives, but we can tank it for now. Not the end of the world. It's kind of a bad placement for the bomb shooter, but whatever. Actually, no, not whatever. I'm actually gonna sell it. I think it's kind of important that we leak a ton more lives. That's great. All right, crisis averted. That was kind of embarrassing. Pretend that didn't happen. And camos are coming up, but our ninja's gonna handle it. I'm gonna make them a little bit more powerful since I am kind of worried we're gonna get overwhelmed at some point. But once again, I'm gonna get some upgrades on this guy soon. I bought the wrong upgrade for him, so I'm actually just gonna sell him and replace him really quick. And that is six banana farm sounds, so we're making huge progress. And as you can see, our money is climbing faster and faster, which is, you know, obviously what we want. We're gonna go ahead now and purchase Wall of Fire and Monkey Sense. So this Wall of Fire is so insanely powerful. It's tough to overstate it early game. And our first Moab, I think we're gonna have some trouble with this, yet yeah, we absolutely are. So we're just gonna go ahead and get some upgrades for our Sniper Monkey, that should be able to handle everything. And it absolutely will, so we're just gonna go ahead and snag Moab Mauler for that guy. Bloon Jitsu acquired, so that means his pops are gonna go up exponentially, we're getting like 100 every couple seconds, which is very good. And then also, we're gonna get Overdrive, because Overdrive is just unbelievably powerful. And we are making money faster than I can spend it, holy smokes, haha, <laughs> that's the name of my last video. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start upgrading some of our banana farms. Also getting them the second upgrade, making them bananas more valuable. So we're doing super good right now. We have our banana farms just making us tons of money, and we have a really solid defense going. However, you know what we're going for. We're going for the ultimate monkey, so there are a couple of things we need to start preparing for. First thing first, we're gonna go ahead and get down one of these. Super monkeys just generally all around very powerful. We're gonna get them plasma shots as well, just because it's unbelievably strong. <laughs> we can tear through basically anything. Just look at his pops go up. We're already at a thousand, and we barely had him down. One thing we are gonna have to invest in is one of these guys. Get that down. They can now all see camos, and if you didn't know, only certain monkeys can see camos, which is obviously not great since we don't want any balloons getting through. And we're going ahead and going to keep upgrade all of our banana farms, because getting them up to that next tier is really the difference between making a little bit of money and a lot of money. And we obviously want to make a lot of money. Ooh, some balloons are making it further than I would like. So I think I might actually save up $17,000 and buy the tax zone, because that one is just surprisingly good. I'm also just kind of thinking what I want to do. All right, we're going to go ahead and buy two Dragon Breath, these guys, which is going to be very helpful, because Dragon's Breath does very solid damage in combination with the Firewall. We're basically tearing through any Moabs that are trying to come through. And there we go. Every single one of my banana farms is at 3-2, uh, which is very good progress. And that is enough money, so we're going to go ahead and buy the tax zone, because that is just a super good upgrade. It's only 17k considering how strong it is. One more thing we're going to get down is the Alchemist. And we're going to get him Berserker's Brew, which is apparently very powerful, my BTD loving friend told me. And we can also afford another upgrade for our banana research things, which basically just gives us a $300 crate, which is very good. 
going to make us crazy money. Ooh, those metals are making it further than I would like. So we're actually going to get down one of these fellers just to break up those. Faster reload, heavy shells, artillery, and bigger blast. That's basically just going to make sure no metals make it through because they're just going to be popped constantly. And our second banana research facility is about to be purchased. There we go. That's two of them so far. Also, since I want to kind of level up subs, I'm going to get down a couple of subs in this water and get them advanced intel, which basically just means they can attack basically anywhere because they can use other monkeys range. Ballistic missile is also going to be a decent purchase. It's only a thousand bucks and is quite strong. And banana research facility number three. I'm also just going to go ahead and get a sun avatar super monkey. And as you can see, his pops are just going absolutely ham. Another banana research facility. There's also going to be a couple more guys I'm going to try. I've noticed that the planes are just insanely good, especially when I go with the Spectre upgrade. So we're going to try to get that one. And we already have enough. So Spectre, as you can see, he just suits a non-stop stream of bullets, which is exactly what we want. And then if we just put him in a path where he isn't going to get blocked by the stupid stump, he's just going to demolish 24-7. And there we go, we have a whopping six banana research facilities now. And as you can see, our very first one has made us $30,000. And basically all the other runs have too, which is crazy. And there we go, that's another two of them. And since I've noticed how overpowered these wizards are, we're going to go ahead and get one of these down and actually go for the Prince of Darkness because I've just noticed that one is just insanely powerful. Basically, he spawns in a bunch of balloons and they go back. What they're going to do is they're just going to pop the other balloon. So if anything makes it too far, it's going to completely stop it. And Prince of Darkness, very expensive, but I think it's going to be worth it since it summons actual Moabs. However, I'm just now realizing this seems like a terrible placement. I'm just going to do a little bit of an experiment and place one of these guys all the way up here. And it seems like, yeah, it's monster. The balloons way closer so this is gonna be expensive mistake but we're gonna move our necromancer feller all the way up here and buy him the upgrades once again hopefully that changes it did not change anything well okay that was a massive waste of money whatever though it was for science and oh we have a very powerful blimp and we literally just not even stand a chance we're gonna save for an archmage next because he is unbelievably strong cost 27k and wow we literally already have 27k that's actually insane and we're only missing three banana farms being converted into their ultimate form so we're we're very close. Oh no, maybe I was right. As you can see, yeah, Moabs are spawning directly there. So that's actually huge. Okay, that definitely was worth a couple thousand I spent. And it's official. We have every single one of these as banana research facilities. So as you can see, our money is just soaring up like thousands per second. Or it's 70k, 75k, 76k, 81k. It is insane. We're gonna go ahead and get a banana central. So that's just gonna be an even more powerful. Let's see how much money we get from one. $1,500 from a single crate from one of these guys. Unfortunately, we can only get one of them, but that is just an insane amount of money. Also, we're getting pretty close to Flying Fortress. I really want this upgrade. And we cracked $100,000 at one time. Absolutely absurd. And we also unlocked the final wizard upgrade, the Wizard Lord Phoenix. So let's go ahead and buy that. Let's see how strong this guy is. We're actually going to make a brand new wizard very close to the entrance. That way it can do its best work. Oh my gosh, he's getting thousands of pops per second. He's already at over 20,000. Absolutely absurd. One thing we're, I'm going to do just in case things get a little bit out of hand is get down a ton of spike factories just in case anything makes it a little bit too far for my liking. We're starting with 269k. Let's see how much money we have after upgrading all of them. And we actually went up money during that. We're at 300,000. We can basically afford anything we want literally at this point. So I think it's almost time to create the ultimate monkey. Uh, we do want a little bit more money so I'll return when I have like a million bucks or something. A few... Later. Things are making it very far. This is extremely scary. We're going to spam down a ton of sun avatars near the exit just to make sure nothing can make it through. It's kind of insurance and we managed to do it. Okay, that was extremely scary. Sorry, I cut back just because that was insanely close, but <laughs> hopefully we won't have to worry about that soon. I am going to get down a couple more sun avatars because things are making it a lot farther than I want. All right, I know we're only at 600k, but I think it's time because things are getting scarily close. So what we're going to do is just sell a couple of things. We sell this guy. Guy. replace him with a brand new super monkey only touching a few things because what this is going to do is actually consume a lot of the thing that's in range so i've noticed that if you put some planes it's actually gonna like do little sun planes which is kind of cool and i believe also if you want to put in a bunch of money like if i upgrade this guy get down a couple wizards near him it's gonna make this guy uh, even more powerful so if we spend the eighty-five thousand dollars, get the sun temple the temple demands a sacrifice all nearby towers will be destroyed enhancing the temple's incredible power in different ways have been warned. Well, let's go ahead and do it. As you can see, we have little golden planes flying around. We're gonna buy range now. We obviously didn't buy the range right away because, you know, it would have consumed all of our super valuable guys. I'm gonna make sure you can see camos since I may have done a previous recording attempt and lost to camos because you couldn't see 
gammas. Now we're just gonna keep farming up money and we're gonna get down a bunch more of those guys. In fact, I think, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead. We're just gonna get a second one down right here. All right, a bunch of upgrades later. Let's upgrade them. And there we go. We have number two. All right, we're gonna start the round. Let's go. And if we keep an eye on this guy's pop, holy smokes, he's getting like 10,000 pops a second. That is actually absurd. Wow, that round is already done. That was absolutely insane. I'm genuinely astonished we managed to do all that. This guy right here we've had since the beginning. He's at almost a million pops. And this guy right here is already at 100,000. So he's he's advancing rapidly. That is very cool. I'm also going to get the Monkey Intelligence Bureau upgrade on both of these because it lets us pop literally everything. I don't know. There might be some random thing the towers can't pop. And if we if, if that happens, we're going to be kind of screwed. So I want to make sure we can get literally everything because it would kind of be a shame to go up to some stupid balloon type that I literally can't pop. And holy smokes, we have a lot of like really big purple guys. I've only seen a couple of them and they're normally insanely strong. I'm actually gonna ability. That got kind of scarily close, not gonna lie. And we're at 800,000, so I'm gonna turn off auto store. Next round, we're gonna increase our amount of overpowered monkeys. That is all I'm gonna say. All right, I've done a little bit of research and I've now found out what exactly I want. So this is gonna be a little bit painful, but I'm just gonna go ahead and sell all of these insanely powerful guys up here. Agony is all I'm going to say. So we're gonna get down a super monkey and get $30,000 worth of upgrades with this feller. I think we're gonna need two of them actually, so I will buy a second one. I don't actually know if that's 30,000, so I think I'm just gonna put down a third one just to be safe. I can afford it. $30,000 worth of ice monkeys. I rarely use these guys, but I guess they must be pretty strong. I'm actually gonna buy a bigger range because I'm running out of space to put all of these things because it's gonna take a hell of a lot of ice monkeys to actually reach $30,000. I'm gonna hope that's close to $30,000, but we'll find out, I guess. Okay, I'm keeping an eye now. 90, 936,000 so when I get to 906,000, I know I've spent enough. And finally, glue gunners. I put essentially no time into upgrading glue gunners, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to put $30,000 worth onto them. So I think we're honestly just gonna give up. Or no, we can actually fit a bunch more over here, so I'll see if I can do it. All right, I think I've managed to do it. Also, this might be a stupid play, but apparently if you consume another temple, you get cool abilities, so let's go ahead and do that too. I think that's gonna consume it. So now I guess let's just go ahead and buy it. Wow, that was like pretty painful, but hopefully we have a really powerful monkey now. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother making all of them this powerful. I just realized I forgot to put planes in. The planes are super strong, but it's fine. We're just gonna make a bunch of other upgraded ones. Oh my gosh, I accidentally started a round without my defenses being fully prepared. I really hope this is enough. I am actually worried it's not going to be, so we're gonna spam down a ton of upgrades. Okay, it's fine. I may have panicked a little bit, that's okay though. Back to buying stupidly overpowered monkeys, I guess. All right, nice. We have four of them down near the start. I'm getting a little bit low on money, so I'm just gonna do one or two more, and then we'll see how far we can make it. All right, that is five temples down. This is this is simply glorious. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna replace all of the upgrades I had to sell at the beginning. All right, nice. I think that is everything I want to down. So uh, let's let's get back into it. Ooh, I may have forgotten to place all these villages to make it so I can pop everything. Good thing I noticed that. That might have been bad. And wow, as you can see, our very upgraded one is already at a million pops. That is actually insane. Compare that to our other one, already at 1.2, but this guy's catching up rapidly. So it seems like all that money I put into upgrades, definitely worth it. All right, nice. I converted all of my banana farms into these guys. I don't have to like move my mouse around to collect them, which was getting kind of annoying. So they just automatically add money to my bank account now, which is very nice. Already at $700,000 beautiful. And I think while I wait, I know there's a big scary round coming up. I'm going to actually start upgrading and preparing another one of these fellers because you know they're pretty overpowered. In case you hadn't noticed by the 4 million pops this guy's gotten. And oh gosh, we might actually be in trouble here. I'm just going to spam ability because yeah, this looks like it's going to be trouble. We'll see how it goes though. And oh gosh, we accidentally sacrificed one of our better sun gods, but it's okay. Wow, that was not not my best play. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, but it turned out all right. I'm just going to replace that guy. All right, nice. We managed to squeeze a ton of temples into that little space. Those purple guys are still making it very far, which I don't really feel super comfortable about, but it's all right because we'll have more of them down soon. I'm just going to see if I can sneak in. I can. I won't be able to get one of those guys in there, unfortunately. All right, nice. We've made some more progress. We're all the way up to uh, nine Temple of the Sun Gods, which is unbelievable. Pretty much decimating anything that makes it. These guys do make it kind of far, but we have plenty of track space to deal with them effectively. And you know what?
now we're just gonna keep grinding now we're gonna squeeze in as many of these temple things as we can and see how far we can make it this is actually a lot of guys kind of scary not gonna lie we're gonna have ability there Ooh, this is very scary i think we're all right though yep we're all right next round we are going to activate plan turn the entire map into sun gods so let's get going with that we're actually too broke to afford the final upgrade. So unfortunately, a couple monkeys are gonna have to go for now, but it's all right because uh, we have a pretty solid defense. I'm sure we'll be able to do fine. So I guess let's go ahead and start it. And wow, I literally cannot see a single thing that is happening. All I know is that nothing is making it very far. Uh, it doesn't look like it at least. I definitely need to go ahead and make sure every single one of these guys can see camos because if even one of them can't, that is unironically gonna be kind of crippling. They're actually demolished like literally anything we just made twenty two thousand dollars in an instant not sure where i got that from uh i don't have any monkey generating money things left so i'm i'm not going to complain really though because it's twenty three thousand dollars if i had to guess it's probably just the temple doing some wacky thing but i'd like a confirmation for peace of mind all right there we go let's just see how long we can go with a whopping 16 temples of the sun god down we've made millions of dollars in this run let's see how far they can go Looks like we're having zero issues in the slightest hanging on, but uh, let's see how long we can go. I'm gonna go AFK. Okay, fine. I may have placed down a couple more super monkeys, but I doubt they're gonna be doing a whole lot. This is me just kind of spending the last little bit of money I have left. So let's see how long we can go. Oh no, looks like this is the end. I come back and we are dead. 201 million popped, 4 million cash generated. Not a shabby run in the slightest. Looks like our very powerful guy got 37 million pops and the rest of these guys didn't do too shabby either. All sitting around like 3 million-ish pops. Even these tiny guys have a couple thousand. All of these guys did absolutely insane.